Unyama Jing Sangaku, Jing Dokusa Chi, Chipu Kumyots on Yakili, the Shinuno, Kunya Chindoku, Dochu Yila. I once said to my friend that they are so lucky they get to spend more time with their mom. They are more fortunate than me. ไปตุตุเทตุนไทยกูตัวเนาะเจ้าชาติเธอมีการที่ชีสุดแล้วกูตัวเนาะเจ้าเขาเสียงมีสุดานอเจ้าเสียงไอโอวาขอตุนไท
There's a reason why my mom's name is significant to her. She's the only mine that I know of, and it is such a good name. Her name matches her role. Mike is Mike and Nia. Nia is mom. Mom is Mike. Mike is our mom to me, to you, and to the whole world. If you knew her, she was your mom automatically. Everyone can vouch for that. She has the biggest heart. Her heart alone touched many hearts. Nia has always been a hard worker. She can never sit still and just enjoy doing absolutely nothing at all. If she is not at work, she can be found in the kitchen looking for work to do. Nia also makes the best food. She has magical hands that can turn nothing into something. Furthermore, she has the best eyesight for knowing when something is clean compared to unclean, like the stove, the sink, the floor, my room, the house. Her work ethics and dedication makes me who I am today. I carry her work ethics with me wherever I go. Everyone who knew her knew that she was the hardest working person alive. I remember a time when she worked so hard at her garden, harvesting goodies for us, her children that did not deserve it, but we got it from her. She would call me to go pick it up, but I was always so lazy and tired. I didn't want to go. So she got mad at me. Before we hang up, I always make sure to tell her that I love her. I love you, mom, I said. In her passive aggressive voice, as she was so angry at me, she said, Gucci Kong, I am busy. And I said, Mom, Gucci Kong and I am busy, and I love you are three syllables. It's three words, mom. Just say it back to me. I argue back with her, but she would not budge. I am busy, she says. She was so angry at me. I love you are just three words that I want to desperately hear from her, even if it's I am busy, but I will never hear from her ever again. She is my world, and I, now my world has shattered. She's our world. We sacrifice so much stuff for her, but we don't know that she sacrificed more for us. The Bible teaches us to be a reflection of Jesus. And to me, my mother was the closest thing to Jesus. I'm thankful my mom has taught me how to be like Jesus. Selfless, full of love, and forgiving. We would go on mother-daughter dates, just us, sometimes with others, but most times just us. And she's had dates with all of her kids. Sometimes we don't tell each other because we're selfish with her time. She will always be my plus one. I'm her last daughter. I'm her slave. I am forever her slave. Christmas She was admitted to the hospital on Christmas Day, so we never got to celebrate. We brought her gifts with us today to give to her, because why not? Her birthday was January 1st, and we didn't get to celebrate with her. We only got to celebrate virtually. And it's so crazy how it played out because that was her most active day she got to spend with us. She ate, she talked, she laughed. Our stimulus check came in and I said, Ma, I got you money, Ma. <laughs> All for you to spend. She never got to spend it. So we brought her gifts here today. We want to give it to her as well as a song we have dedicated to her. So if you guys would just listen to our last song to her. We
我以为这不是我，祝您早日出名。